We have seen four interesting examples of machine learning on graphs, two of which involve graphs as data structures and two that involve graphs as models of multi-agent physical systems. This answers the question of why we want to do machine learning on graphs and leads to the question of how should we do machine learning on graphs. The answer to the question of how is pretty easy. We should use a neural network. We should do this because we have overwhelming empirical and theoretical evidence for the value of neural networks. Discussing this is one of the objectives of this course, but before we are ready to do that, there is a deal-breaker challenge potentially lurking in the shadows. That challenge is the fact that we want to run a neural network over a structure like this graph, but we have become good at running neural networks over images that look like this other graph. Generic neural networks, or fully connected neural networks to be more precise, do not scale as we grow the dimensionality of the input signal. If we have a signal made up of a small number of components, a generic neural network suffices for its processing. However, if we have a signal with a large number of components, which in the case of graphs means a signal supported on a large graph, a generic neural network will not work. Do we know how to overcome this issue? Well, in the case of images and signals in time, we know that convolutional neural networks succeed at scaling. That's what I meant when I said that we are good at running neural networks on images. We can make them scale. That we know how to scale is good news. Alas, we can process images with convolutional neural networks, but we cannot process graphs or graph signals. But if we look deeper at CNNs, an intellectual roadmap arises. CNNs are made up of layers, each of which is a composition of a convolutional filter bank with a pointwise nonlinearity. In this definition, the notion of layer and the notion of pointwise nonlinearity is not specific to images. They can easily be generalized to arbitrary graphs. It is the notion of a convolutional filter bank that we do not know how to generalize to graphs. Out of these observations, we find our roadmap. If we generalize convolutions to graphs, we can easily create graph filter banks, which we can easily combine with pointwise nonlinearities, and which we can easily stack in layers to create a graph neural network. This GNN is the architecture that we will use to process graphs and graph signals, which we hope will be as successful and scalable as CNNs are for processing of images and time signals.